Craig Thompson, The Booze Hunter, Impromptu Wine Review. I was in Dalesford on the weekend. Uh, for those not in the know, that is Spa Country in, well, central Victoria. And while I was there, I, um, I stumbled across a wine shop. As I so often do, there's this sort of unconscious thing going on where I'm constantly just monitoring my surroundings for a vineyard, a cellar door, a bottle of wine, or a wine shop. And I stumbled across, uh, it's called Wine and Country, a great little, great little spot if you're in Dalesford. Uh, wine and Country, yeah, sort of, sort of wine shop where you can go have a glass of wine, which is exactly what I did. Then you can peruse the shelves, which is also exactly what I did. And yeah, I'm perusing these shelves and I think I know a fair bit about wine, but there was many labels there I did not recognize. And I had, I had this thing, I was looking for central Victorian wines because I got, you know, a fuse has been lit, but that's another, that's another story. I was looking for central Victorian wines. I purchased a few. Um, one ended up being an Adelaide Hills wine upon further research, but it's really hard to tell from the label. I'll review that another day. But I, I picked up some central Victorian wines as well. And the first I wish to review is the 2016 Jill Graves Shiraz Malbec. And there it is in letters on the front, almost in the middle of the label, from central Victoria. Now, the Jill Graves is a producer, planted a vineyard in 2011, which isn't very long ago as far as vines are concerned. And due to that, perhaps, and I think a, uh, some other factors as well, the fruit for this particular wine was from purchase fruit, from, from growers. And the majority of the fruit for this particular wine is from a town called Reddersdale, which is near Bendigo. A portion of it is apparently in the city of Bendigo. But um, near Bendigo, also you know, central Victoria, and Reddersdale, interestingly, in 2011, had a population of 273. Um, so I think it's pretty safe to assume there are more grapes than people in Reddersdale, at least at the time of year when grapes are on the vine. Anyway, let's have a look at this wine. Um, also, from what I can ascertain, it's the first release, or at least the first Shiraz-based release from Jill Graves as a producer. And I must say, I'm rather fond of it. Let's have a look. You know, this is a wine that's been constantly evolving. Um, there is lots of fruit there. And in my descriptors from yesterday to today, um, I'm, I'm morphing. I'm going through all the a variety of fruit descriptors for, for Shiraz. And 8% of this is Melbourne, but predominantly Shiraz descriptors. So look, there's some plum... There's certainly black fruits, there's blue fruits, there's raspberry jube, which covers black, blue, and red fruits. Um, on top of that, there's this licorice vanilla bean character, and a real life to the nose. It's, it's a beautiful nose. It's, uh, it's lively fruit. Mm. And in the mouth, that... That fruit profile, it continues on. Look, it's a medium body wine. The tannins are fine. It's fresh. It's balanced. It really is a very good wine. And I'm going to give this a good, healthy drinking out of five. Get stuck into it. Jill Graves, new. I did not know them. I did not know of the producer until three days ago. Love trying this stuff. It's what wine's all about. Try something new. Get out there. You'll make some great discoveries and you'll make some that you wish you had not discovered. But Jill Graves, thumbs up, good healthy drinking, peace, stay awesome, the booze hunter.